Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. As you can see today we are going to be taking a look at the Mixza 32GB micro SD card. Now if you guys are do any sort of shopping on GearBest.com I'm sure you've run into these before. All these little cheap micro SD cards. I've always stayed away from them because you always hear these horror stories about these cards that are fake from China and all that sort of stuff. They're not the capacity that they stay on the box and the read write speed is awful or whatever. Anyway, you hear these nightmare stories. Even though this guy was only about five bucks, I said, you know, I don't want to flush five dollars down the toilet if it's a piece of garbage. So, you know, I go to my office works and Amazon and whatever and buy SanDisk and Samsung cards and all that sort of stuff. But they are quite expensive. So I decided to roll the dice and to actually test one of these guys. So uh, I was actually pretty impressed when it came in the mail because it's, you know, retail packaging. It is not some Kingston brand knockoff. I mean, the, you know, the packaging feels good. It's almost embossed. It's got some, you know, shiny bits to it. Uh, you can see on the back, it's got a little hologram there. Uh, the Toe Hall, I don't know if that's like the parent company of Mixa or what, but anyway, I, I know these cards as Mixa because that's what they say on the card. Anyway, uh, you can see it's 32 gigabytes. It's obviously a Chinese brand, uh, but you know, I'm just impressed uh, by the packaging. I think it actually looks kind of cool. It's you know a bit interesting. If it was hanging in a store, I'd be like, oh, what is this triangular thing? Anyway, uh, these cards are known uh, for the little shark on them, and I don't know if you guys can see that without it getting too blurry, but they are quite cute. Anyway, um, 32 gigabytes. I bought it for about five U.S. dollars, which is really really cheap when you consider other brands, like I said, like Samsung and SanDisk and stuff like that. 32 gigabyte card. Cards, uh, can be anywhere from you know probably about double the price you know especially if you're getting them from a big retailer like Amazon or something uh, you know you're still looking at you know anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars I guess so for five dollars I figured what the heck let's give it a go now if you've watched any of my previous videos on micro SD cards you know that I like to use a program called H2 test W uh, it is a German program uh, so it's all in German when you go to the website, uh, and I'll leave a link down in the description so you can download it if you don't have it already. Uh, but when you install the software, it's really lightweight, by the way, it's only about one megabyte, uh, you'll have the opportunity to change it into English. It's really, really easy to use. It verifies the size of the card, which is one of the reasons why I like that particular uh, program, because it actually will tell you whether it's 32 gigabytes or not. Um, which I think is really handy, and it will also give you read and write speeds. Anyway, it's really easy to use. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, if you don't have it and you buy a lot of SD cards or whatever and you want to test it, I can't recommend it enough. Now, before we get into the speed test, I just want to say that as impressed as I am with the packaging, I had a hell of a time trying to open it. Now, you can see this little tab here. It says Mixa, and if you flip it over on the back, it says Open. Now, I tried to rip this open, and it's perforated here. You think it would just come right off, but oh no, no it does not. Um, so I bought a couple of them, and you can see here, so I'll toss that one off to the side because I won't try to wrestle with it open just to show you. But I had a hell of a time trying to get it off. I ended up having to, you know, kind of work it like that and then eventually I was able to peel it off. But anyway, uh, I got it out eventually and I mean even getting it out now is kind of a pain. But anyway, uh, that's the card. That's the little guy. It's the little shark. Um, now let's switch over to H2 Test W and have a look at the rewrite speeds as well as the actual ca true capacity of this card.
Okay guys, so we just did the H2 test W and the mix of card performed fairly well. I mean, you're looking at about 13, 14 megabytes per second uh, in the write speed and the read speed of about 20 megabytes per second. It's also verified to be 30.4 gigabytes of usable space. So again, it's marketed as 32, but that's typical with any brand. You're always gonna have a, a portion of the card that you're not gonna be able to use. So 30.4 gigabytes for five bucks, that's pretty good. Great for a phone, a dash cam, or like a, a Raspberry Pi build, especially if you're looking uh, to build like a retro Pi build or a recall box, something like that where you want lots and lots of retro games. 32 gigabytes will definitely get the job done. So uh, one thing I should mention that, uh, you know, you guys may get different mileage when you run the test on your own machines. Uh, I was using a Toshiba. I was also using an external card reader, uh, which was only USB 2. So uh, you might be able to get better speeds than I did. Uh, but like I said, for the price, I'm pretty happy with 13, 14 megabytes write speed and 20 megabytes read speed. For what I plan on using them for, which is probably going to be a RetroPie build of some kind, uh, that should be more than enough uh, the for what I need to do. Um, but anyway, I'll leave a link down in the description to gearbest.com so that you can pick up some of these mix of 32 gigabyte micro SD cards. I think they're uh, crazy value. It's about five US dollars for 32 gigabytes. Can't go wrong there. And I got them pretty quick, to be honest with you. I didn't pay for any extra shipping or anything like that. I got them in a couple weeks. So as long as you're willing to be uh, patient, they will get here eventually. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give me a like, shoot me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Anyway, this has been Gizmo Joe signing off. I'll catch you next week.